Welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, this is the second of a two-part video tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create this retro sticker here. Um, in the first video I showed you how to draw a character and how to live trace a sketch which I scanned in from paper. Um, I imported it into Illustrator and I live traced it and just to get these nice lines here. Um, if you're joining me from that video, welcome back, but if you haven't seen that video, you can click here now to recap on where we are. But for those of you who are joining me back, let's get into this. So we are going to colour our sticker, and I've got myself a couple of swatches here with some colours. Um, you can download this document if you want, if you want the swatches or whatever. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to come back to my drawing and we're going to proceed with this. Okay, so let's zoom in, take a closer look at what we've got here. Now, what we have here is a vector object and from the live trace we've got all the various bits and pieces that make up this drawing. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to separate these a little bit just to organize them a little so we can start to color the individual objects. From the live trace we've got the white areas here and this will be really convenient because we'll be able to color these as and when we when we like. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the inside out. So I'm going to grab these eyes here. I'm going to grab the eyes and we're going to press command X to cut and I'm going to come to the layers. I'm going to create a new layer and call that eyes. And by pressing shift command V, that is the command to paste in place. Shift command V. Okay, and I'm going to lock that. Now, um, the next thing I'm going to do is quickly separate all these black lines. Now, at the moment, they're all individual and they're unique. So, what I'm going to have to do to select all of those is come over to my menu palette and grab the magic wand. And with the layer selected, the drawing layer, I'm just going to click in the black here. And what that does is it just quickly selects everything that is black on that layer. And again, I'm going to press Command X and I'm going to come up and create a new layer. I'm going to call that Outline. And again, I'm going to press Shift Command V to paste in place. And that is the outlines. And the next thing we're going to address is the skin layer. That will be the all the white within the black outlines. So if I come across to my panels and just click on the eye, on the eyes and outline layer, just to get rid of them, we can see that what we have left, what we have left, is all the white elements within our sketch. And what we want to do is we're going to isolate those. So again, what we can do is we can get our magic wand and click on the white and now that selects everything there. And we are going to command X again. Let's create a new layer, call that skin. And again, shift command V and that will paste that in place. And what I'm going to do with all of that selected, I'm going to come over to my swatches and color that in purple. Now let's bring back our outlines and our eyes and we can see that that is all nice and purple. Now before we move on one thing I quickly must do is grab these teeth here because they are not supposed to be purple. So by clicking and holding shift and selecting the objects whoops, holding shift and selecting the objects I can select a multiple objects. Select multiple objects by holding shift and clicking. And again, command X. And I'm going to come to, whoops, come to my layers. New layer, and I'm going to call these teeth. Okay. And shift, command V to paste in place. And let's quickly turn them teeth back to white. Excellent. Right, so we've got our skin, we've got our teeth, we've got our outline, and we've got our eyes. 
Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a bit of depth to this to this skin here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a red layer on top. Now there's many ways you can go about doing this, but I'm just going to show you my technique and how I achieved the result I was after. So let me demonstrate. Um, with our skin layer selected, what I'm about to do is just select this area here, the skin. Don't worry about the the bolts on the side or the lips. We're not really bothered about those right now. I just want to click the skin layer in the face and I'm going to press Command C to copy or Control C on a PC and I'm going to come to a new layer, make a new layer and I'm going to call that Skin Top. Okay, and then I'm going to press Shift Command V to paste in place and with that layer selected again I'm going to come over to my red swatch and just press it you can see now that part of the face is now red. Now what I want to do is I want to cut part of that skin out. I want to cut a line just down the side of the face, around the chin, around the um, cheekbone, so, rather, and just down the side, just to give that bit of dimension to it. So let's lock that skin layer underneath and everything else. I'm going to come over to my pen tool. I'm just going to quickly draw a shape and I'm going to come down the side of the face and around the cheekbone down the side of the jaw there and just come off the side of the face there and there it is. I'm just going to quickly change the colour of that so you can see what I'm trying to do here. I've made this shape that is cutting through that skin. Now I'm going to select my shape that I've just drawn and I'm going to select that skin layer which I just created I'm going to come over to my pathfinder and I'm going to press the minus front and what I have done is by using that shape I've literally cut out of the face let me undo that and show you what I mean so you've got the shape and you can see that it's cutting it's crossing over the skin layer press that shape press our skin layer and again, press on minus front, boom. And literally, it's just sliced it through. And what we're left with is a nice clean cut vector shape on top. Okay, so next I'm just gonna quickly finish off the, the face. If we come to the eyes, we can unlock some of these layers so we can move on. I'm just gonna select the eyes, and change them to yellow. And I'm gonna come over to our nut and bolt here. And turn that to a grey. Let's take the outside of these bolts. That's the great thing about the live trace, it gives you lots of flexibility. You can select all these individual colour areas. Oops. Shift and clicking. Select multiple objects. Holding shift. And what else have we got to do? Oh, yes. Those teeth. Okay. With the character fully colored, I think we're ready to move on and start to compile the sticker. Next up, I'm going to select all the face including all the layers and I'm just going to quickly group that because what we're going to do is we're just going to move that out of the way for a second and we're going to come to our layers we're going to create a new layer we're going to call that sticker background and we're going to let's just expand our layers panel we're going to quickly stick that layer background that sticker background behind the skin and we're going to draw ourselves an ellipse a circle let's position that there I'm going to just colour that in black come back over to our face bring it back in and by pressing shift and alt I can scale the image down just nicely and I'm going to rotate it around just a little bit 
Now that's all well and good at the moment, but there's not a lot of contrast between that face and that background. So what I want to do next is just push that stroke and create a big stroke around our head. So I'm going to select on the face. I'm going to sh press Command C to copy. Let's create a new layer here and call it Stroke. And I'm going to press Shift Command V to paste in place. And straight after that, we're going to select the head again. And we're going to come down to our Pathfinder. And on the Shape mode, I'm going to click Unite. Now, when I click Unite, you'll notice that that shape now becomes a solid black object. It's united everything, it's compiled everything into a single shape. Now, that's good for us because if I put that back and do that, put it back, that's exactly where we want it. Now, I'm going to come over to my stroke. I'm going to give it a fluorescent green stroke and push it up. push it up to about five or six and right now the align stroke is set to center I want to set this to outside and that's great so once with that I'm going to move my stroke just under our face layer and there we have it and finally the last ingredient to the sticker is the typography so the next thing I'm going to do is looking at that stick at the moment I don't think there's a lot of room there for the text so I'm just quickly going to select everything and by pressing shift and clicking the background I will deselect the background then by pressing shift com shift and alt I can just scale down our face quickly and move that out of the way uh, maybe I'll just make it just a little bit bigger again and that's just fine now let's get some text involved. By pressing T, I can pull up the type tool and click once and type away. And currently that's set to black. I'm going to change that to white so I can see it. And push the text up to about 40, maybe not. How about 80? That's right. And if I change that font to Change the font to double feature. That's it, our spooky font. That looks like it'll do just fine. Now you can get this font for free. I've put the link in the description. So uh, go ahead and get this font if you like it. But I'm just going to quickly do exactly the same for the rest of the text. And after a little bit of time, you will end up with four text objects, which we can go ahead and color color these text objects finally let's just position that background so we're happy with it and I'd say that is about it there is our complete retro sticker well I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial I certainly enjoyed making it and I like this one because we started on paper it's always fun to, to draw and scan your drawings in and it's really powerful how Illustrator can use a live trace and how we can alter the appearance of the drawing and customize it and inject some color and type. I hope this tutorial inspires you to get drawing and scanning in your sketches and playing around with them in Illustrator. Maybe not to this style if it is not to your liking, but I hope you have fun guys and I will see you next time.